they'll come back and say, you know, kind of home is where your heart is where the home is. For the last 36 years, Nebraska men's tennis coach Kerry McDermott has found his home in Lincoln, Nebraska. His habitat doesn't have touchdowns, three-point baskets, or goals. It's all about a tennis ball and a racket. A Grand Island native, his home is only 96 miles away. But for... Uh, my name is Dylan Vinarczyk. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada. So my name is Linus Erhardt. I'm from Austria. Uh, hi, my name is Roque Jai. I'm from Slovenia. Their homes are thousands of miles away, spanning across oceans, cultures, and lifestyles. Here are their stories. Uh, my name is Dylan Vinarczyk. Uh, I'm a sophomore here, and I'm majoring in finance. But Narchik's love for tennis runs through his brother and father. My brother, who's four years older than me, started playing tennis, so I spent a lot of time just with my father and my uh, brother on court, and I just naturally followed his footsteps because I was just around the sport so much. So I decided to you know, play because he was doing it, so that's how I f kind of fell forward. His transition to Nebraska wasn't an issue. Uh, not for me. I've been to 32 countries now, and I've, for most of my year, I never even lived in Canada. Uh, for three years, in a, uh, for three years from 2012 to 2015, I only spent three months in Canada, so I'm used to it by this age. The toughest transition wasn't on the court, but the student lifestyle. I never stepped inside a classroom after grade seven, so I was about 11 years old, so it's been maybe six, seven years since I stepped in a classroom, so freshman year, like taking exams in person with people in my class, it was just weird. Uh, so I, I struggled with that at the, probably at the beginning, and just be, being around so many people was tough for me because I, I was never uh, used to that as a kid, but uh, now it's, it's good. I, I, adjusted pretty qu I adjusted pretty quickly, and uh, I mean, I like this experience here. There's a lot of people, you know, you get to meet a lot of people, and it's good. My name is Linus Erhardt. I'm from Austria, um, very western part. It's called Vorarlberg. Um, I'm currently eligibility wise a senior, but I'm in grad school and doing my master's in business administration. Living abroad has been tough on Earnhardt, but surrounded by a team has stabilized his student lifestyle. However, one thing is still missing, his family. Obviously I miss them, but we're in contact a lot of times. We like text with each other, we Skype, we call like each other a couple of times per week. Obviously it's hard, but I know why I am here and like, I will see them also like over the break. Earnhardt's family remains close to his heart, even though their countries are separated by a big blue ocean. He can always count on the encompassing support of his team. I mean, obviously we are here because of the tennis team um, and also because we want to like combine um, our education with the tennis sport. But um, it's nice to have people on the team, you know that they love the sport as much as you do. And it's like just, more thrilling if you share the, the love for tennis in a team when you experience that together. My name is Rok Rizai. I'm from Slovenia, from a smaller town called uh, Idria. I came to Nebraska because when I came here on a recruitment trip, people were very friendly and I like the facilities very much. Also the academic, academic side of it is also really nice. Karajai stumbled upon tennis accidentally. I didn't really start pursue tennis until I was like 10 years old. Uh, when I was about six years old, my parents just put me in tennis because I had a lot of energy. So they wanted to put this energy to some use. Karajai moved to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, where he started high school. This meant being away from his parents. After being recruited by McDermott, Kurjai realized the importance of a routine and said he's okay with them not traveling around the world. They actually asked me if I want them to come, but uh, I said that uh, I, I don't really need them to come because um, I kind of feel it, it would only be a distraction for me to br break me out of my routine. Because I think like the important thing while you're like in the semester is to catch a certain routine it's, it's much easier school-wise and tennis-wise. McDermott has delivered hope to these athletes with limited resources abroad. He believes they deserve a shot. For a lot of those kids, there's no opportunity to play their sport, let's say tennis, after high school. If you go to college over there, there's really no um, college athletics. And they literally have to quit their sport and then just go to college because it's so intense. 
It doesn't matter where one finds themselves, from sea to shining sea, for Bednarchik, Earnhardt, and Kurzai, they're bound by something stronger than the love of their sport that's given them new horizons. They might be surrounded by the shadow of the sand hills, dotted between towering cornfields, or the smell of fresh cut hay. They found themselves in the middle of the United States of America, in its heartland, where anything is possible. There's always a special part of them that stays with their homes. Kellen Havikin, KRNU Sports.